Hey, uh, Hugh from ClickFunnels Support here. So in this video, I'm just gonna go over how we can set up a basic form inside of the ClickFunnels editor. Anytime that you're looking to collect information with a form, there are two basic requirements. One, you're gonna need an input field set to collect email, and you're going to need something to submit the form. I currently have a simple page set up here with a single section and one one column row. The first thing we'll do is add in a new element. We'll click on form and we'll select in the input element. Then we can go into the settings for that element by clicking on it or by hovering over it and clicking on the settings uh, gears icon. The first minimum requirement is again to have an input field set to collect email. So we'll change the input type here and we'll select email address. The reason that's required is that that is the unique identifier we use to tie information to a specific contacts profile. For that reason, this form field will always be marked as required. However, you can make changes to any of the other settings to edit the actual look and feel of the input field. The second requirement is going to be something to submit the form. First, we'll do this with a button. So we will add a button, we'll jump into the settings, we'll click set action, and we'll make sure that this is set to submit form slash page. We can also do this with any other element that we can link. So we'll use a image element for the next, next example. So we'll add the image element We'll jump into the settings and in the link URL, we'll use hashtag submit dash form. And finally, we can do the same thing with just a text element. So I will add a text element. I will highlight a portion of the text. You can highlight all of the text if you want as well. We'll create a link and we'll set that link to the same thing we would set for that image. Hashtag submit dash form. Now, anytime you submit a form, by default, that's gonna take them through to whatever the next step in the funnel happens to be. You can override that behavior by going into settings, general, and using this on submit go to field. You can place any URL that you want here and that will override the default behavior. And instead of bringing them to the next step in the funnel, it will take them to whatever you website you have selected here. So hopefully this helps clear things up a little bit in terms of how to set up a basic opt-in form inside of the ClickFunnels editor. If you do have some more questions though, or anything like that, definitely go ahead and then let us know in support chat.